Hello, this is Julie. I was asked today how in Make the Cut would I make a shape that has stitch lines to be nested. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to click on the basic shapes icon at the top of the screen and type in REC for rectangle and I think I'll use a rounded rectangle. I'll double click on that to add it to my screen and you can make it whatever size you want. In order to make the the stitch lines, I'm going to add a shadow. The shadow layer is the fourth icon from the right, so I'm going to click on that and a window opens and you can indicate the shadow width. Now I'm using a minus 0.15. You could make that any size that you want depending on where you wanted the stitch lines to be. I'm going to make the inside line here the stitch line and that looks good to me and I'm going to accept that. So now I have an inside line and an outside line. In order to make these nested shapes I'm going to join these temporarily so that these shapes will stay together when I do the nesting. So to nest this shape I'm going to go to Edit, Duplicate, Nested, Duplicate. You can make as many as you would like. I've chosen four with a gap of a minus a half an inch. That means that the duplicated shapes are going to go inside the original. I'm scaling by width and just you can use any colors you want. I just chose these and click on preview to see what they're going to look like. So if that looks fine to you then you click on accept. Now in order to assign some of these lines to be the stitch lines I'm going to break them all apart using the break icon which is one two three four five six seven from the left at the bottom. Now you can see that I have the solid lines and the stitch lines. So it'll be a little easier to see if I go to outline here. Now what I want to do is hold my shift key and select just the lines that I want to be stitch lines. And I'm going to select them all and with them all selected I'm going to click on the smaller of the two plus icons at the lower right corner of the screen to send these lines that I just selected to their own layer. I'm going to click on the color box on that new layer that I made and click on line style at the bottom of that box and create new line style. Now here you can create as long of a stitch line as you want and you can set the spacing between the stitch lines as big or as small as you want. When you're happy with that click OK. Now you can see I have stitch lines on the inside of each one of these rectangles. It's a little harder to see when I use the fill and outline but they are there. So these are pretty, pretty far apart. If you'd like to change that, I'll do a Control Z to undo. And again, I'll put it on outline so we can see. So right now they're all solid lines. And I'm going to go to line style, create new line style, make the spacing and the length the way I want them. Click OK. And now we have our stitched, nested, rounded rectangles. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.